This tragedy impacts many people at the university, and this afternoon, ISU officials held a news conference. Will Price was there and has more about the past 48 hours and what is next. Our Indiana State University community is mourning the loss of life and directing our heartfelt care to the families. Indiana State's president, athletic director, and head football coach addressed the media on Monday, speaking about the crash that took the lives of three Indiana State students and injured two others. Head coach Kurt Mallory recalled the moment early Sunday morning he received the news. The unthinkable, I uh, can imagine the, uh, you know, the fear that my, my wife and I were going through. And, uh, you know, after going through, you know, uh, settling down, you know, uh, Sherrard was, uh, and his wife were with us, and, uh, and uh, we've, we've gotten through this uh, together. Mallory says athletic director Sherrod Clink Scales has been by his side offering support. Clink Scales says he has gratitude to the wider community for helping them get through the tragedy. This community, this Vigo County community, this university has been unbelievable in wrapping their arms around us. I was at Meyer, and a man asked me if he could just pray with me, and I said, yes, I would, and I was so touched. University President Deborah Curtis says she was in touch with the families on Monday. In my phone calls with each family today, I was able to extend to them our commitment to walk beside them through these difficult days, and that is exactly what we'll do. Mallory mentioned watching dozens of student athletes and coaches come to a memorial held on Sunday night. He says it was symbolic of the best way to move forward by coming together. There's no question there'll be part missing, but this is a great time for us to come together as one Sycamore family. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Will Price. Coach Mallory also mentioned how the ISU football team will lean on each other for support in the coming days.